on Rob on the Road, the Crocker Art Museum. Awe-inspiring creations. I did not expect to walk in this room and say, oh my gosh, I feel like I've just been around the entire state. The masters and their masterpieces. It transcends time and place. It takes me that close to Rembrandt. Mm. That's pretty amazing. Halls of History, the oldest art museum in the West. We're gonna go back into time to works on paper. All right. Come on. <laughs> Take us back in time. And prized California collections. Works on paper collection is? One of the best in the world. Come along for a rare Crocker experience. I am going to show you one of the most special drawings in America, right here in Sacramento. Plus, we'll take you inside the studio of one of the Crocker's most famous local artists. Being able to have a, a sharper vision at this point at 91, I'm very fortunate. Rob on the Road, Crocker Art Museum, starts now. And now, Rob on the Road, exploring Northern California. Welcome to the Crocker Art Museum in Sacramento. Did you know that the Crocker is home to some of the most unique art collections in the entire country? It's where old meets new, literally. And inside, you can see stunning creations dating back to California's earliest days. And it's a place where you can go on a fascinating journey exploring landscapes around California all under one roof. The new Crocker opened its doors in 2010. The old Crocker dates back to 1885 and is one of the Golden State's most prized possessions. Let's explore. This is quite a special way to see the Crocker Art Museum. We are here with the queen of the Crocker, <laughs> <laughs> Director Lyle Jones. Good to see you, Lyle. Rob, thank you so much. It's a great to be here. This is a world-class art museum, and you're gonna show us why. Great, I'm delighted to do so. Uh, the museum was founded in 1885 under its current um, terms of governance, so it's been around for a very long time. We're in the Gold Rush Gallery right now. Here you can look back and forward all at the same time. I love that. The museum has the best collection of California art from statehood to the present day of any institution. Let's institution. just let that soak in for That's a minute. Right. It really does. It really does. If you want to understand the art of California, you come to the Crocker. Behind us, these beautiful Charles Knolls go back to the original Crockers, Judge Crocker and Margaret Crocker. This was part of their collection. Judge Crocker commissioned many of these works in 1872. California is a new state. It is coming out of the gold rush when Judge Crocker arrives in 1854. He only served as a Supreme Court Justice for one year. Uh, he really then did what he is most famous for and where his major wealth came from. He became the president and legal counsel of the Central Pacific Railroad. He negotiated a retirement settlement that was actually quite handsome, $1.8 million. Wow. Judge Crocker took his uh, retirement earnings, uh, had a, the gallery building built, and then took his family to Europe for three years to buy a collection to fill it. My goodness. He purchased either 700 or 900 old master paintings, 1,200 or 3,000 master drawings. We have one of the best master drawing collections of any museum in the world, right here in Sacramento. That Fascinating. Was nice. He was considered one of the top collectors in the United States. A lot of people think that the Crocker is an historic museum. Well, it is, but when Judge Crocker opened it, it was a contemporary museum. Interesting, I never thought about that. Right. That's right. Judge Crocker always wanted to create a center of culture for the state of California. Uh, he saw the arts as being a way to bring culture to you know, this new state. And do you know if he thought that way originally or if that evolved as a dream for him? It appears to have uh, been his original thought in the very beginning. Well, it's actually very typical of 19th century industrialists. When he brought this collection to the United States, it, it, it filled nine railroad cars. So you get an idea of how large it was. The Crocker is about community. It's about people in Sacramento and this region and visitors to this region, better understanding the world around them through art. This room is filled with some of the greatest art in this country. Well, you know, you can't 
look at California's art history without coming here. That's for sure. And if you want to get an idea of what California was like in the 19th century, you can do it through the paintings on our walls. I did not expect, and I've been in here several times, to walk in this room and say, oh my gosh, I feel like I've just been around the entire state. That's right. And what I love about the plaques that flank the pieces of art here is that it gives you little tips like, look for this. It tells a story. That's right. And it's not just the stories that are um, art historically accurate, but they're also the stories that you see in the paintings and how they might relate to your life.